Yo, what is up guys? Here we're playing some more twos with Garrett for today. In the last video, we ended up getting SSL. So we got to 1875. It takes so long to get points when you're this high up, especially when you're queuing together, but there's still fun games either way. And a lot of people aren't that high up. So we're playing pros that are still like 1700, 1800, that, uh, like early 1800 that aren't uh, going to give you that many points. And they're very tough matches. So it's actually really hard to get high up right now if you're not solo queuing. The duo queuing is actually probably not recommended in my opinion, but... So pretty solid for all of our uh, all of our modes right now. 64, 59, 14. Pretty good. I'm recording these pretty much back to back in the last video. So uh, yeah, hopefully we get ourselves some good games today and get some dubs. Let's see how it goes. Right, the first game we got Nick, Dave, Vic, and Lunar. I've seen the Nick guy on uh the leaderboards actually really high up in ones i saw him top 10 in ones how long ago but i actually don't know who this is though i actually never heard of him so be interesting to see why he's so high up on the leaderboard what we're working with here you know it's pretty solid as well that's a bad challenge for me you never really want to go for a challenge it's gonna get you stuck on the opponent's half like that well done from garrett got baited in a bit I'm not gonna let that happen again Played around one over to Garrett's side. My first touch here. Maybe over, but he might miss. So I was just playing that. And then we got the dunk. So really, I know he might miss there. Even though he's a very good player, I know he might miss because it's a really tough read. The ball's straight above you. You don't know if someone's instantly up. So playing patient there is almost a better play every time. Take a soft touch here and take a power shot to the corner, maybe. Good try. Ah, I have to post again. We'll get, we'll get one one of these times. Try to just be annoying. Try to chase him down a bit. Get the bump on him. Actually, still had the boss now. Let's save. He messed up his first touch a bit, so he just canceled. Not a bad idea there. Nice. Good start so far. Kick off. A little bit awkward. I'm just gonna go for some high. Worst case scenario, good has a follow up. Take his boost here. He's gonna be low. You have to waste a lot to go for that. He's gonna be looking for a boost now. Still 40. I can go one more time on the wall here. Could at least have forced him enough. Only problem would be if Garrett gets bumped there, which he didn't, which is really good. What a play. Nice. Really good from Garrett. I want to see this again. Hit 50 and he, he land turned that quick. Very, very good shot. His car turned like pivoted with the, how he landed very well. Just wait for his pop here. Nice, one more time. Good touch. Again, I don't want to full dive at this, right? I just want to stay in a spot where I'm Putting pressure pretty constantly on him and to the point where it's a free ball for Garrett. That's always the best way to play out a 2v2 situation or even second man in 3v3. Ah. Uh, Try to get that mid pass for Garrett, but Garrett was bumping the other guy, which is smart. I didn't know it was open. The comms are really important in this game, obviously. Like, if I had known that, because I don't have vision of it, right? If I had known that, I would have played it differently. That was really well played from Garrett. Went for the delayed 50. Should be okay, though. I think he's out of boost. Shot should be fine. Nice. Just wait. Let's save from him. If I just hit it around them. Any kind of touch is good there. Try to stay relevant with low boost here. 
ended up missing. Should just be. Oh, nice. Good save from him. Jared's coming back. I'm gonna try to hit this back to him. Okay, I'm doing enough like disruptive work to the point where these balls are pretty hard for them to shoot or do much off of without Garrett getting the first touch on it. Better bump this guy again, he goes. Not bad. I was trying to be as annoying as possible and Garrett eventually ran out of boost. Yeah, the bump just didn't do anything. I tried to bump the other guy as well. A good attempt. Going for Spanish here, see if he knows. <laughs> that was sick. I did that the worst way possible. I didn't even see it. I did 360. I didn't even see what happened, that's funny. Take this corner should be actually good for Garrett. I'm gonna back off, so I'll play it to our corner and then go for the corner as well. See what he's doing here, just watching him. Play it to Garrett's side. I like to do that sometimes, just set the camera down a little bit, you get a better angle where their, their wheels are facing, what they're looking to do with the ball. You have to see how close they are as well. You often have a lot more time than you think you do. In uh, those situations, good save. This will pre jump. Nice. Good first game, though. Get the next one, see if we can keep it up and get back to back dubs for the day. But it's all plays in there. Some some smart plays as well. Pretty pretty happy with that one. Let's get into the next one. Let's see if we can keep it up. And see how it goes. Alright, the last game we got Oath and Flit. It's actually a really solid duo. They're very fast, very capable. This will be a tough match. Any little mistake will be punished. Very good twos players. Very good players in general. That player's off the back wall. Really awkward for Oath here. Back from Gary. He went for a little bit of a safer attempt at a shot. A shot where he's he's guaranteeing the 50. But he also... Nice. He's guaranteeing 50, but he also... Sorry, I went quiet there. I was kind of focused. He also... Uh, Gets the shot if that guy misses as well, so he kind of covers both options, which is very smart. Hard to do that in the moment when first Spanish. That's what we did last game. The kickoff they just attempted. They tried to, to bump me, and then Gary hits the ball to them because he gets faked. It's a good play. It's, it's a little bit annoying when he gets scored on by it. Satisfying when you score it because you know it annoys the opponents. All right, I gotta stall at least three more seconds here for gear. I still have 40 boost. Played it pretty well. Bump this guy as well. Nice. That's all played. I've done a lot of work, but I only have 172 points. I didn't even get an assist for what I just did there, but. Shows you that the point system isn't the greatest in this game. Nice. We're doing a good job of following up on each other's 50s. Staying close, knowing that 50s are the best option in situations. Oh, I tried something. I tried something interesting there. It didn't work. I actually like the idea though. I went, went to try to fake the rest of the air dribble and then hit it to the corner and grab the boost. But I also wanted a very specific touch. 
out of that corner as well. All right, that was earliest forfeit that they could have possibly had there. Um, I don't have a crazy amount of time here, so we'll queue one more quick and we'll see how it goes. All right, solid one to end off on. We got Beast Mode and Memory. Beast Mode's usually like top five and twos, so it's gonna be a tough game. Doesn't lose very many twos games. Memory is also very solid. Obviously, been a pro for a long time. Try to go myself here. Actually, that's fine. Like I would say at that point. Play back to myself. I tried to fake him, but I think he likes to just play the ball in a situation. That way he can't get fake. Just smart. Ooh, if Garrett fakes that, I think we score. I think we still respects the shot too much. There. Also just seems stupid in the moment there for Garrett probably without knowing. Also like just a little bit of a comms thing. Let's save. I'm actually surprised. Really good block from memory, might just be a goal. Good bump attempt as well. Memory's playing really smart this game. Nice. All I have to do is beat the last guy there. So I played. It was very hard to just turn and shoot that. So I played it for Garrett. High pop that they have to use a lot of boost to get to. Should give me some time to work with. Nice. Really good reach from us there. It's actually really confusing. And we got out of it. Again, a high pop that they have to use some boost. Just gonna bait a slick here. Ah, oh, my bad. Yeah, got a bump. Went for the back hole double. There's there's risks involved with that. I mean, he was in an awkward spot regardless, but there's risk involved doing that. Obviously, if you get bumped, just gonna be a free shot for them. It's actually pretty rare if that happens. Smart for memory, he goes back wall there. Try from beast mode, try to bump him. That's just a pinch it's straight in too, it's a good try. Save. Don't have any boost here. It's all my boost. If Gary gets beat, it's really bad. Good job. Went for the absolute peak shot. It'll probably go in like two out of ten times, but when it goes in, it uh looks pretty nice. Wouldn't recommend it though, and like a consistency basis, it's just not gonna go in very often. gonna beat me here I'm not gonna push up any further than that should have a 1v1 let's say for memory it's always been good on the goal line it's always been really solid in those situations play some well try to control this nice play around one well be sort of insta go is actually really really bad in my opinion but I guess it worked for him. If I wasn't trying to read Garrett's touch there, I also probably would have scored. I think they tried to read it as well, which is why it was so open. Let me go for the mid boost. Should be okay. Might not be as okay. Okay, we're good. Retouch. Save. Try. Gonna be a little bit late to this. Oh man. Guess the control for a bit here. It's almost bad because we're both kind of fighting over the same ball.
It's not close enough to follow up the 50s, which makes it a little bit awkward. Trying to 50 for each other, but spacing is a little off. They're doing a good job there. I mean, Bisa made a really few couple, like, very crucial challenges this game already. I mean, Garrett are just fighting over the ball, though. Um, a few very, like, crucial challenges that he's made that actually look very risky. And they probably do end up saving the game, though. Like that as well, it's very risky. Nice. I'm just trying to use that to my advantage now, knowing that he's going to go for those risky plays. Let Garrett go now. Two seconds left to watch the kickoff. I know we have to only watch high there as well, right? That's a really good thing about zero second. All you have to do is watch that shot that's not hitting the ground, right? So anything above that, it's actually pretty easy to cover a zero second shot most of the time, which is honestly why that Justin shot season five was even crazier because it's pretty easy to block a zero second shot most of the time if you if you know that it has to be above the uh, you know the threshold of hitting the ground. You don't have that much to cover. So if you go back wall, you have pretty much everything covered. But yeah. The games today beat the top five player in twos right now. It's pretty good. He's normally like number one in twos as well, so pretty solid. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have yourself a wonderful day or night. Whatever time it is, watching us, like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you guys on the next one. I love y'all. Peace.